Hello friends, welcome to today's Daily Devotion. I'm Kerry Wood, pastor of the Goldston Methodist Church in Goldston, North Carolina. This week we have been looking at this big question, what is regeneration? And today our bigger answer comes to us out of the book of Ephesians, reading Ephesians 1 verses 5 and 6. Hear now these words. He, meaning God, predestined us for adoption to sonship through Jesus Christ in accordance with his pleasure and will, to the praise of his glorious grace which he has freely given us in the one he loves. Now this is the middle of a big doxology that Paul is using to open up this letter to the people in Ephesus and actually to all of the churches in that part of the world. Ephesians was a letter that was widely circulated to all of the different churches throughout the early first century and the version of it that we have is the Ephesian version. But no matter which church this was intended to, it applies to us as church today. He predestined us for adoption to sonship. Now don't let that word predestined get into your head in the wrong way. By predestined, what it means is that God's plan all along was that we would find salvation, that we would experience regeneration, being reconciled to God and given His righteousness into us. God planned that from the very get-go. God knew what was going to happen, that we were going to reject him. Remember, we talked about free will last week, and God's own free will was to say, I'm going to give you a way back to me. And regeneration is the start of that way back to God. And it happens to us through Jesus Christ, the Son, the eternal Son, part of the Godhead who gave himself up out of love so that you and I could know love and have that relationship with God restored. That's why Paul says, to the praise of his glorious grace, which he has given us in the one he loves. My friend, you can experience regeneration right now. And this regeneration can give you a new life right now. You can know God in ways that you never knew God ever before, and it is just the beginning of what life in God can be. Regeneration is the beginning. It is not the ending. And so the next couple of weeks, we will look even more deeply into what regeneration does in us and then what we can do for others through it. Here at Goldston Methodist Church, we are striving to be a regenerated people, a people who are on this path of righteousness development, of being made holy in the image of Jesus Christ so fully in us that we become the ambassadors of Christ. And as an ambassador of Jesus, I invite you to come join us. We worship at 185 Hillcrest Avenue in Goldston, North Carolina. We have our faith formation Sunday school time at 10 a.m. We have worship at 11 a.m. And if you can be with us physically present, please come and join us. If you can't join us in person, then you're welcome to be with us online. We live stream on Facebook and we post our messages, our whole worship experiences on YouTube. And that is another way that you can continue to be a part of what we are doing in faith in Christ together. But I hope that most of all, you are indeed connected to a body of believers and are able to feel this power of regeneration in your life that you are on a lifelong journey of joy. And I'll see you on Monday for our next daily devotion.